Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Here you have Canada's Energy Minister praising China for being thoughtful about climate change. What? Serious? He says the science is settled. Jasper's just another example of anyone who denies climate change poses a threat to Canada. And they have another $300 million in green energy funding. Again, Jasper was just so ruined by quote-unquote wildfires. Uh, at the same time, there's people that see have been seeing certain lights in the sky. And you can find certain lights in the sky, red and green, um, that were seen around that area. It's crazy. It is a crazy, crazy world. And here you have Alberta's two most populous cities have been struck with an unusual outbreak, a highly infectious illness called Shigella, Shigella, which is generally found only in third world countries. Uh, it's said, this is from the CDC, says that Sh Shigella are bacteria that cause diarrhea and can cause bloody diarrhea even. Hmm, I do think there's a lot of immune systems out there that need to be boosted and a lot of detoxing that needs to be done in these times as a lot of people out there, certain countries more than others, are having compromised immune system functioning. You know, I don't, I don't, I think it's just getting to the point where um, the control system, uh, they've done what they've done and things are evolving on their own. And I mean, you can't just screw up uh, someone's terrain on their body and then expect them to hold up against really actually very common things that are going to be out there. It's, it's a shame. It's a shame. We shouldn't be here, but we are. Um, there's a lot of protests going on over in uh, the UK and also you know, many places around the world. Uh, you have a Kurdish migrant that was sentenced earlier for attempted murder. Uh, this video shows him pushing uh, postmen onto the subway tracks for looking at him, you know, the wrong way is what he said. I got to wonder again, is it an activated sleepy cellular unit? When you see here, this is in Brighton in the UK, in the middle of the day, somebody riding on the back side of a bus with a big machete again it's getting beyond crazy out there but this is again why we have warned a long time that it's going to be probably the most dangerous in the big cities uh it's relative is there a safe place on this planet um i don't know you know i'm sure it is a varying degree of safety depending on where you're at but you might be somewhere very very secluded and find yourself surrounded by wildfires this is showing uh the active wildfires for instance in north america and as you can see it certainly looks like the the west is going up in flames uh, there are some in some other areas, but my goodness, yeah, this is the Quarry Fire, Jefferson County. Colorado has multiple uh, wildfires going on at the moment. As you can see, there's a lot of people involved in fighting these wildfires. This is the Alexander Mountain Fire, 5,100 acres on fire right here. Again, this is outside of Loveland, Colorado. And uh, here you can see they're, they're doing what they do to get water to fight these fires. This is Quarry Fire. It is uh, certainly uh, a battle that's raging all over the West right now. As you see here, another fire, um, reports of another fire at Gross Reservoir east of Netherland. And, you know, Colorado, uh, o <laughs> Oregon. California, um, you know, it's just it, it's just it seems to be going to exceptional levels. But we keep saying that every single year. I know it just keeps getting worse and worse. It is. Yeah, and so somebody I saw one comment. Somebody was just like, you could just tell they were screaming at the top of their lungs. You guys got nothing good to report. It's all doom and gloom. Well, you know, we, we wanted to come up with a different video, but there's just 
so much going on news wise and and we have so many family members in these areas and we get texts all the time do you guys realize how bad it is over here and and what's going on over there so we get the notifications and you know we're not going to stick our heads in the sand and just wish it all away um I th again you have to actually uh, let people know what's going on and and we need to unify and we need to do our best to support each other in these times because you know in one way shape or form we're all going to find some challenges in these times you know there really is and a lot of people are hurting and in order to help them find some relief we might not be able to do a lot you like maybe you can't get in a vehicle and go and help them maybe you financially you cannot support them but if we're pointing it out then people can send them positive energy which is very helpful uh, never underestimate energy so you know you it's just it's just kind of crazy out there at this point in time so you have records falling everywhere you look in northern and central colorado and of course in california there's been a lot of fires as well park fire nearly 300 structures destroyed 18 percent contained at the moment uh, so there's a long way to go there too there's been a lot of evacuations you know again uh, tens of thousands of people have evacuated from the western wildfires not just in the western u.s uh, this is in italy again it's everything we see happening here is happening around the globe and the thing that i'm struck with more than ever as um, I've really been focused and, and deep diving more into trying to uncover more details on the mud flood events and the great redos that are done all the time, all the time. In fact, I, I want to say again uh, that I think that we had a real lull for most of our lives but now we're back into a full throttle moment and here we might be thinking that where we are right here is very unusual but no i i don't think that this is unusual i really don't and you know did we go through something similar in say maybe the in middle of the 1800s maybe even starting as early as around 1812. 1812, you had the War of 1812. You also had Napoleon and Russia at war. Like right now, for instance, we have obviously Israel at, in conflict uh, over there. We have Ukraine in conflict. We have a lot of little uh, pockets of fighting going on that can become bigger wars. We don't always have these world wars but maybe you know these wars really are world wars even when they're not given ww numbers in that they are orchestrated again by the system which keeps us putting out fires everywhere that's what they do and you know if we don't recognize and see it for what it is you know you continue to support the system and that's something that we all need to look and and stop supporting wherever we can i mean it, it's not easy people are into the system they need the system for medical reasons or this reason or that reason so it's not easy just to back out no and this is over in madrid spain as you see another fire and more havoc and chaos the sun is absolutely um, going through a period now where it seems to be getting more active again. The KP has not been that high in reality. But again, how much does it take to actually trigger changes in mood and our consciousness? I think we are all way more sensitive in this time frame, as you see. Uh, here we, we have a little bit right around KP index 5. And this is just looking back. Uh, over the last uh, maybe day and a half or so but you can see here lots of peaks not really going over uh, the x into the x class but once there um, and barely we've seen way more we've seen way more intensity than this but at the same time it does feel like people 
are having a much harder go of things emotionally. And, and this is really where we were going to go with more of a heart's own video talking about the challenges um, that are being felt by people all over experiencing uh, a lot of anger there's a lot of anger out there right now uh, i think there's a lot of people getting triggered i think there's a lot of frequencies being sent out that are triggering people to anger and rage i think also we are working on uh purging ourselves as we are on the ascension path the planet's on the ascension path and so we need to process things. We need to purge energies that have been stuck in our energy bodies before we can move higher. And so, you know, it's tough to do that when you're getting blasted with all this chaos. And that's exactly, in my opinion, why the chaos exists. Mm -hmm. Well, they, they kind of keep on it. And I, I've been in contact with some people who are you know experiencing things and having a very difficult time right now so uh, light workers out there be gentle with yourselves understand that you're going through a natural process and there are a lot of things that we do need to process and let go of sometimes some things you might not be ready to let go of but you're going to be called to let go of them now not only are we going through this process i feel that there is an extra uh, push you know in the energy field that's of a not so natural nature so i think we're up against two different things natural ascension and those that are controlling have the ability to send out waves of negative energy to try to push people over the edge don't let that happen do not let that happen i know it's hard there's a lot of difficulties we are all having them but hold on drink a lot of water quiet your mind take care of yourself baby yourself go to the sauna go to the spa just be good to yourself love on your pets just look for all kinds of reasons to be grateful do not let these energies that are coming in really i mean just ruin you don't don't let that happen just hold on be good to yourself drink lots of water and we'll get through it together Oh, and, and this is borax. Well, I, I mean, I use borax for all kinds of stuff. I use it uh, to clean with. You can use it in the, the bathtub. It's great for detoxing. But mostly, you know, laundry. I use it for laundry soap. And I use it for bugs. You know, bugs don't Pest like control. it. Pest control. I mean, they hate it. So you sprinkle. The mice don't like it either. Do they? No, I don't think the mice like it either. You sprinkle this stuff on the floor. Or for mice particularly, I use um, baking soda. But I, they don't seem to like any of the white powders. So if I think I have a problem in my house, my house looks like a snowstorm. And there's white powder everywhere for at least a night. <laughs> and then I clean and no, it up. We weren't putting up Hunter Biden. No, no, we were, we were not. It does not look like that. It's not like that. <laughs> but it does look like the, the borax. And I do have the baking soda and stuff is sort of kind of everywhere. If I think I have a pest problem and then we deal with it. And then you just clean it up in the morning. I think when we first moved in here, there was quite a big problem. And I probably put the the borax and the baking soda all over the floor maybe for a solid month and my counters and my cupboards if you you know if you look in my cupboards you're gonna see you're gonna see baking soda and it's because i don't want to take a chance on any bugs or pests or anything getting into my food and that and uh peppermint oil i make a, a mixture of vinegar and peppermint oil and i'll spray that and i'll clean my counters off with it and just some natural ways that have worked in this house to keep pests you know at bay it's not perfect but to me it's a lot better than having any of the poisons out and it really does work um again we, we will not spray any of their um, poisons anywhere on our property it, absolutely not there's natural alternatives rumors have it that mork from mork used to like um, borax because it can help with nanu nanu phobia uh, yeah interesting little elemental uh, this is what cindy picks up on that this is actually an elemental being mm -hmm. it is it's an elemental being it's a fire elemental and he's you know, in some ways, really showing his stuff, strutting his stuff. And, of course, science is going to come along or somebody's going to say, oh, that's just some technology. Of course it is. Of course it is. You know, we have lots of names for the technology and the science that never seems to be right. 
Um, this is really pretty. It's really beautiful. I love it. And then you have these two who are just best buds. All they have is each other right now. And they're grateful for that. It looks like they don't have a lot except for the towel or the blanket that they're laying on and each other. And they're making the best of it. Absolutely. And that's where reaching out to each other and finding people of like mind to support each other in these times is going to be critical because it, it will be challenging. It, it's pretty darn obvious that we're heading into more challenging times. Uh, is there light at the end of the tunnel? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, we're, we're out of a Kali Yuga. But then again, these times when we're entering uh, Dwapara, we're in the Bronze Age. It's an unveiling time, and the reality that humanity is faced with is that humanity has been under a very, very dark system. In fact, we still are. We still have to claim our independence from it, and certainly I don't think you're going to find the guidance to get out of the system from within the system. Nope. And that's somebody else speaking. That's not me. Source bless. Namaste. Namaste.